Let's go to Lenby Valley High School in Wilkill Valley. Strugs first watch Justin Decker off the miss hit the little floater in the lane for the Rangers and they have the 2-0 lead. But Lenby Valley goes on a 9-0 run. Watch Tyler Robertson rip down the board and he takes it all by himself and the Pats have a 9-2 lead. Wilkill Valley stops the run here. Watch Bryce Falk feed Matt Christmas for the wing three-pointer to cut Lenby Valley's lead to 9-5. The Pats, however, come right back and it's Terrell Jackson with the hoop and the foul and Lenby Valley eventually would take a 14-9 lead after one quarter. We move to second quarter action. Wilkill Valley cuts Lenby's lead to three here. Watch Dylan Harlow's find Jake Deonda who buries the three-pointer but Wilkill Valley trails by three, 16-13. The Rangers make it a two-point game here. Watch Justin Decker with the steal and the nifty finish, and it's 17-15 Lenape Valley. The Pats increase their lead to six here. Watch Terrell Jackson can the catch-and-shoot three-pointer, and Lenape Valley has a 23-17 advantage as they would take a 27-19 lead at the half. Okay, third quarter we go, and it's Justin Decker of Walker Valley draining the three, and the Rangers trail by five, 27-22. Now watch Lenape Valley on the run out. And it's Joey McKenna with the finish, and Lenby Valley has a seven point lead, 31 24. Then McKenna shows he can shoot from the perimeter, too. Watch him knock down the tray, and Lenby Valley has a 43 38 lead after three quarters of play. Okay, fourth quarter we go, and Wilkill Valley trails by three, but that changes here. Watch Bryce Falk deliver the tray, and we are tied at 47. Good ball game. Wilkill Valley would go up 49 47. But Lenby Valley retakes the lead here, and it's Joey McKenna with the big three-pointer, and it's now 50-49, Lenape Valley. And then watch Terrell Jackson take it to the hoop, and he's fouled, and after the free throw, Lenape Valley would have a 53-50 lead late in the game. And then Tyler Robinson would hit some key free throws as he would help seal the deal as Lenape Valley holds off Walkill Valley 56-50. I think we played pretty good. We work harder in practice all week. I mean, coach pushes us till we got, and then we just give it all we have. It was great. Uh, my teammates found me. We really pushed in transition, and uh, I got the open shot and was able to uh, knock it down. We had a lot of chemistry today. Uh, the team felt good. We looked good, and we played good. So uh, I think it was one of our best wins so far this year, and uh, had a good time doing it. Overall, um, I was asked when the season started what we thought about our group, and the only thing I could say is we're a tough group of guys. Just fight no matter what. We, we do everything we can, every possession, that's all we care about. One possession at a time the entire season. It looked like in the second half your team was uh, very tenacious on the boards and picked up the intensity defensively. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Um, well, our main key in practice is, well, we haven't like really been all that great at rebounding, so our big men, that's all we do. We work them, we get boards, we try to get as much people as we can back, and that's it. You know, Walk Hill's a great team, hats off to them, but uh, we uh, really clicked in the second half, happy that we uh, happy that we got the win. We talked about it a little bit. Um, we always want to get the re over the rebounds. We want to get more rebounds than the other team. That gives us more opportunities on offense. So uh, we did that today, and it was a good win. It started slipping away for us for a little bit, so we called the timeout, we made some adjustments, and we had to do that from time to time throughout the game. But out of each timeout, I'm really proud of the guys because all they did was they really pushed it in defense while they were supposed to.